uh, maayong hapon sa tanan. In behalf of my co-authors um, and the USTP Center for Human Development, I would like to present our paper um, entitled Digital Innovation in MSMEs During Economic Disruptions, Experiences, and Challenges of Young Entrepreneurs. <clears throat> So are you familiar with this uh, company logos? I'm sure you are. Have you ever uh, uh, experienced doing add to cart or online shopping with these platforms? Did the frequency of buying goods online increase in the past five years? In the recent decades, electronic commerce and digital or online markets are becoming more popular together with the booming of modern communication technologies. Among the identified enablers of this shift include um, the boom of social media like Facebook, um, open educational resources, crowdsourcing, and data mining, which empower entrepreneurs in reducing the barriers between in invention and the creation of new ventures. Another enablers are economic disruptions, such as the recent uh, COVID-19 pandemic, which changed the consumer's habits, as well as uh, organizations' innovation programs, leading to accelerated digital transformation of uh, micro, small, medium enterprises, or MSMEs, as well as large firms. Now, who among you have ever thought of selling anything in the electronic market, such as uh, Shopee, Lazada, Alibaba, or Amazon, as an additional source of income? So what factors or market conditions or policies do you consider to make this thought a reality? So these are only some of the questions that uh, motivated us to pursue this study on the di digitalization of MSMEs, um, MSMEs during the time of pandemic. I and my co-authors uh, from various academic institutions are thankful to the Center for Human Development of USTP, headed by Mama Angel Collera for accommodating us to do this uh, research. And also we are thankful for this uh, Mindanao Policy Research Forum for giving us a venue and opportunity to share our findings with the uh, policymakers, academic and industry partners, particularly in the greater Mindanao area. So for this presentation, I will first give you a short um, research background on entrepreneurship and its contribution to Philippine economy. Um, and then, uh, uh, the research objectives will follow. Then I will describe our research methodology, our main findings, and finally, some uh, policy, policy um, implications of our research. So entre entrepreneurship can be defined as the creation or extraction of economic value. It is an activity of setting up a business or businesses, um, taking financial risks, of course, with the hope of um, profits in the uh, long run. And as technology advances, firms across industries realize the importance of digital transformation to make their business uh, so sustainable and also uh, up to date. <clears throat> so digital entrepreneurship in, is the process of uh, entrepreneur uh, you know, creation of value using various um, social technical drivers to support the effective acquisition, uh, processing, distribution, and consumption of uh, digital information. So it includes various uh, businesses function sa ating um, uh, life cycle ng business. So we have sales, marketing, um, human resources, operations, finance, R&D, and customer support service. So in the Philippines, uh, what is the economic contribution of um, entrepreneurs? So according to 2020 list of establishments report of the DTI, uh, there are almost a million registered 
Uh, so that does not include the uh, unregistered uh, businesses um, operating in the country composed of 99.5 uh, or 5% MSMEs and 0.5% large firms. These MSMEs consist of 88.77% micro enterprises, 10% small enterprises, and 0.5% medium enterprises. So among the top industry sectors um, include the wholesale and retail trade, motor vehicles and uh, motorcycles, uh, accommodation and food service activities, manufacturing, other service activities, financial and insurance activities, which accounted to about 83.77% of the total number of MSMEs establishments in the country. So before the pandemic, MSMEs generated more than 5.38 million jobs or 62.66% of the country's total employment. <clears throat> so while several studies across the world have shown the impacts of COVID-19 pandemic on MSMEs, the investigation of this uh, pertinent uh, issue in the Philippines is limited during the time that uh, we made this study. So it was uh, last year between um, September to October 2021. Therefore, the main objective of uh, this study is to analyze how economic disruption uh, drive business innovations for MSN. So specifically, this aims to explore the lived experiences of um, young entrepreneurs in doing business during the pandemic investigate the challenges of shifting businesses to digital platforms, and uh, lastly, evaluate the uh, implications of this research as basis for government policies. So um, we looked at the perception of young entrepreneurs um, as their role is crucial, and they are considered as catalysts for innovation and economic growth. And because of their eagerness to create positive difference in the society. Uh, furthermore, since the Philippines is considered the social media capital of the world, so it makes young entrepreneurs potential contributors to the success of the socioeconomic agenda of the Philippine government for um, MSMEs. So for the methodology, this uh, study described the lived experiences of our young entrepreneurs in doing online business at the time of pandemic. So we applied the qualitative uh, method with limited number of participants to achieve depth of information rather than statistical um, significance. So we did online interviews, uh, taking the precautions on the health and safety of the participants and the researchers during the pandemic. So this study performed a purposive sampling according to the following uh, inclusion criteria. The participants must be young entrepreneur, uh, they start a new online business during the pandemic or shift to online and uh, voluntary participation and lastly completeness of the reports. <clears throat> so our participants are coming all over the country, Luzon, Visayas, and of course, Mindanao area. And um, uh, they are ages 15 to 50 with a median of 30. So, medyo bata po yung ating mga participants. And uh, most of them are engaged in online selling or reselling content creation such as uh, YouTube, um, social media management, online teaching, advertising, writing, editing, voiceover, and uh, others. <clears throat> and uh, for the questionnaires, we only ask uh, three main questions. What are your experiences during the pandemic that made you start or engage in online business? What are the problems and challenges you experienced? And what policies should the government implement to help young entrepreneurs sustain or start a business? And uh, to analyze the data, we employ the qualitative inductive content analysis with the following uh, process preparation organization and reporting so let's uh, move on to our main findings 
So the research applied the indu um, sorry the main findings of our study are divided into three categories. First, the drivers of digital entrepreneurship. Second, the barriers or the challenges experienced by the young entrepreneurs. And lastly, um, recommended uh, policies to help um, young entrepreneurs start uh, their online businesses. So the drivers provided two interesting results. So both extrinsic and intrinsic motivations drive digital innovations during uh, the pandemic or economic disruptions. So when we say extrinsic motivation or external motivation, um, it involves exhibiting a behavior or doing something, completing a task to attain some external goal or meeting some externally imposed um, constraint. So in this study, participants describe these constraints as Ayan, yung mga community lockdowns natin during the pandemic. And uh, also some changes in the market demand and the uh, market conditions na naging online na mostly. As well as the sudden change in, of course, yung ating household economic status as uh, some of us uh, lose jobs during the pandemic. So to limit the spread of COVID-19 uh, virus, the government imposed various community quarantine measures including face-to-face -face contact and uh, travel restrictions. And this greatly affected various uh, societal and economic activities. So on the other hand, we have the intrinsic motivation or internal motivation, which involves doing something for its own sake as uh, people become more creative when they feel motivated or self-motivated, uh, primarily, primarily by the interest or enjoyment or also satisfaction, and in some cases, um, challenges of the work itself, and not by external pressures or inducements. And the uh, participants or young entrepreneurs uh, describe these factors as uh, personal and professional motivation or professional growth as young entrepreneurs. And then the opportunity to help our Filipino citizens, particularly those severely affected by the pandemic. So yung eagerness na makatulong sa ating mga kababayan, it also uh, helped them motivate to do online uh, business. And the uh, personal driving forces are driven by the need to earn, of course, um, extra income to help the family. Um, some of them answered uh, for their mental health and the uh, personal development. And despite the young age of our participants, um, entrepreneurs perceive the pandemic and digital entrepreneurship as venues for uh, professional growth. Now, in terms of the challenges yeah, or barriers in digital entrepreneurship, participants describe three main barriers, entrepreneurship skills, digitalization of market and business environment during the pandemic. So being new entrants in the business or in our e-commerce, young entrepreneurs lack enough um, entrepreneurship skills or entrepreneurial skills related to doing business, particularly our online business, utilizing IT skills and of course, I think personal management skills. Another set of challenges faced by young entrepreneurs uh, was the market conditions in the digital platform. So this include financing or you know, how to start a business, um, digital transformation from um, traditional to online uh, market. And then of course, yung problems with online transactions, especially yung ating mga scammers. Ano? both from the production side and also from the consumer side. And the uh, other legal issues related to um, business permit applications and also yung copyright issues sa ating mga YouTubers and mga uh, um, content creators. Moreover, the business environment during the pandemic sets another challenge for young entrepreneurs um, in the digital transformation of MSMEs. 
among these challenges are ayan na na mention na kanina ng ating previous speakers yung ating energy and the uh, telecommunications infrastructure as well as the community quarantine restrictions uh, that limited uh, the spread of the virus so to support the needed uh, the needs of the participants to facilitate digital um, entrepreneurship um, the following are um, the recommended um, actions or these are the things that they need based on their um, challenges faced during the pandemic. So in terms of startup support for young entrepreneurs, participants agreed that uh, financing um, is the most crucial uh, factor in starting a business. So kung pwede daw, um, this uh, include the support uh, for example, loans with minimal interest, subsidy during lockdowns, um, tax reduction or exemption for the duration of economic disruption. And young entrepreneurs also raise the concern to promote their products through online marketing to reach a wider range of customers as well as help them to apply for business uh, registrations. On the other hand, the government should also provide um, legal protection to entrepreneurs um, and customers from uh, fraud and um, scammers. So to make new MSMs competitive at the same time sustainable beyond um, economic disruptions, the government should provide programs that hone entrepreneurship skills. And the participants identified these skills also, such as you know, financial, um, accounting, IT skills, and also yung digital entrepreneurship skills. Additionally, kung if uh, possible, our academic or the academy or our school partner should offer maybe some elective courses that teach the basic or uh, basics of entrepreneurship. Lastly, participants recommended that uh, the government should implement programs that promote uh, competition of uh, telecommunication companies to decrease the price um, while providing more quality internet connectivity. In addition, infrastructure that uh, provides a more reliable source of electricity, particularly to rural areas should be developed. So with the digitalization era, innovations in products and services are crucial in attracting new customers while retaining existing ones. However, um, young entrepreneurs encountered several challenges and uh, barriers to digital innovations. The findings of uh, this research provided several policy implications that could address these challenges and barriers and help them or help our young entrepreneurs start up online businesses during and also beyond economic disruptions or the pandemic. So first, the government must provide support for startup MSMEs in terms of financing, um, technical capacity, marketing, and all business registration requirements. Also financial incentives such as tax reduction credits, grants, subsidies, and other similar instruments um, have been used by government to stimulate technological innovations in MSMEs, which can help firms improve their productivity. And uh, considering the vulnerability of small, um, micro, small, and medium enterprises compared with large firms, so they are uh, more vulnerable to um, economic shocks. And the immediate policy priority on financial sh support uh, should be given at the beginning of the pandemic, although it's already almost finished. And this may address the challenges of survival in the market. And other studies also showed that the technical, financial, or soft skills, example nito yung mga networking, uh, mentoring, um, problem solving skills or um, acquiring learning cap um, capabilities 
and also government support for a significant relationship with the survival of um, startup MSMEs. So second po natin is that the government must provide training support for upskilling young entrepreneurs. So to improve their um, technical competency, kung pwede marketing also and financial literacy. So policy should address the barriers to digital entrepreneurship through structures that build digital and entrepreneurship skills through education and training programs. And uh, as I said earlier, um, maybe our educational institutions uh, may consider, for example, cybersecurity as a crucial aspect of um, digital education with the use of mobile banking apps, um, contactless payments, and online shopping apps. So in addition, it is important to help our young entrepreneurs to build strong networks to improve their access to funds, opportunities, clients, or uh, partners, and suppliers also, more reliable suppliers. And um, a public-private partnership uh, must be encouraged to reduce these technical and financial barriers to MSMEs. And finally, uh, with the rapid digitalization of the market, um, the government uh, hopefully must uh, fast track the improvement of our country's IT infrastructures to accelerate the digital innovation in MSMEs. Um, currently, comparing the current global IT situation in the Philippines, the country's um, internet infrastructure lags behind among those of uh, contemporary developing countries in Asia, which hampers the motivation of users to innovate and contribute to inclusive growth and um, development. And on the other hand, IT infrastructure developed by promoting training programs in digital skills and information on existing technologies that could be applied to production processes and marketing channels to allow more dynamic e-commerce and increase the number of services offered on the online platform by our MMSMs. So yun lang po and uh, daghang salamat kayo.